what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl and christian here to drop some jewels so i got the love and light follow-up for sagittarius all placements however falls in your chart i know you guys are probably like what palo santo in at the beginning that's a first yeah um sad your energy for august is just like ugh. anyway to the intro so what's up everybody empress jim here here to drop them jewels like i said it is the love and light reading for the month of august where we pretty much focus on those lessons or those things that popped up this month um what we were supposed to learn out of that what we need to take with it leave behind and how we need to move forward going into september all right so sagittarius you guys are up guys this is a general reading so message is not for everyone take what's for you leave the rest behind in any event don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribing to the channel before you head out hitting that bell button so you know when these videos drop leave your comments below let me know what's going on you know i pick up on the energy you might show up in the next read with more messages catered to you you never know right depends on how big spirit feels like you need to be out there on front street um if you're on social media, go ahead, follow me on those platforms. You get updates regarding the channels, Mike and me energy, as well as personal readings, which guys, the prices are now lowered. And I actually have to check the video and see if it even um, reports that, but whatever. All that information is listed below in the detailed description box, as well as on the social media platforms where you can see what the prices are now. Only for a moment in time while, you know, I'm doing other things. So, you know, it's like my gratitude, my giving back until uh, things get hectic, then, you know, supply and demand. Sorry, guys, you know, a little business one on one. But anyway, yeah, supply and demand. Oh, gosh, how did that hit set heavy? I'm trying to lighten up a little bit in you guys' energy here, Sag, but honestly, let me just not beat around the bush and just cut to it already. So, either you are apologizing or someone is apologizing to you. There is a big fucking heartbreak. I don't know what happened in your August. I do feel that there was a... Could deal with a job. Could deal with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. But I do see... Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah... The energy of like a master tower moment happened this month sometime guys okay and yeah something came to an end or something has been rebirthed in your life there's been a, a huge transformation could have been from some messages seen or communication incoming communication something quick text message dm email in the end, though, Sad, you remember who you are. You remember being strong and remember being solid to you. I feel um, you guys just being honest, being honest with yourself, being honest with others. Yeah, laying any lies or lack of clarity to rest here. Um, I do feel that, you know, you guys, you know, did go through something heavy, though, this month in which either someone is begging for your forgiveness or you are begging for someone else's, you know. Um, I'm getting Aaliyah, Aaliyah Melodies for you guys. You guys got I Care For You. So, I mean, rest in peace to the great princess. But, yeah. That's just how I'm feeling. It, it was just very, um, it's like you're, you or this person, whoever it is. So whoever is in need of to apologize, because this communication is sitting here strong. It's, it's not it's not going anywhere. Whoever um, is the one that's trying, who like feels bad in the situation right here. And like I said, guys, it's all energy. So this can even be how a workplace has treated you, okay? They, at this point, want to do whatever the hell it takes to make it right. Um... I'm hearing I hurt because you hurt. I hurt because you hurt. Uh, essentially, Sag, this person does want to, I, I feel strongly with the song and the message. 
that they want to let you know that they do care and they're willing to do any and everything that they can to show you that they do, that you are worth it, you are worthy of it to them, that you are like their prized possession, you're their one and only, okay? Um, you mean something. Like if you ever like question your value and worth at a place of employment, you mean something to this company a lot more than you know. Like to lose you is a big loss for them. And they know that they should give you that raise because you are more than worthy of it. I feel a lot of you guys, you know, sacrificed a lot for this. Whatever this energy is, you sacrifice a lot for it. And guys, remember, could be vice versa. It's a general. I have a Sag fall on your chart. If you're messing with a Sag, if your dog is a Sag, whatever, feel me? <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just the energy. I'm feeling a lot of deep apologizing. Um, and just really trying to, it's like rekindling, it's trying to rekindle something that is like dead or like a, it's like a dying thing, but it's like you, you don't want to let it go. So whoever this is for, whether you are, well, it doesn't matter. It's for the person who has caused the pain. Pucker up. Let the ass kissing begin. All right. Sad, your wow offering for this month is self-love. Show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. So yeah, a lot of you guys, like the, we're going back to that tower moment, okay? So whatever happened, it, it shook up everything. I mean, that's what towers do. It shook everything up. Like, even you, like, it made you have to open your eyes and even, I feel, be honest with yourself in some sorts here. With the self-love here, I'm feeling that, you know, you had to come to terms with some things. Like it says, self-forgive. You had to forgive yourself for some of the things that you did, you know, your roles that you played in whatever it is in the situation. So that way you could, like, make a difference to the other forces within the situation, Okay. Because, I, guys, I don't know how many ways and how many times I got to say it's just energy. And if y'all talking about my armpits, I really don't give two shits, okay? Normalize it. Examine it. Calmness, yeah. Whew. I was like, yeah, there was a lot of calm before the storm. That's what I'm saying. It was like a big-ass storm. It was a big-ass wake-up call for a lot of you guys, okay? But I feel that with that, I'm picking up with the tower moment. That now that things are out in the open and, you know, you've been able to do some self-searching, some self-love, that, you know, you're going into a more peaceful state here. I feel also that karma could have came out for you guys. Karma's been rolling all 2020, okay? Everybody's under judgment here. I feel like you probably got your judgment for some of you this month. But now I just feel that things will be better moving forward here. So with the commonness, it says the inner divine is the witness of all. Remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over. Okay. So pretty much, you know, we're going into September, guys. And I mean, the shit done hit the fan. Now you can do is just pick up the pieces. For all my Martin fans, you will know exactly what that is. I'm not going to go deep. Could be messing around with somebody named Tracy. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so let's keep it moving, though. Have the faith to walk through new doors. Yeah, this is like Cinderella. I got an instant Cinderella feel, like fairy tale. Um, I could see you, somebody. There's like this trail of rose petals being led. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like a pucker up. Somebody's kissing major ass. Kissing major ass. Um, have the faith to walk through new doors. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3, 1. Okay, I feel that um, there could have been outside sources here. Outside sources that was interfering with a union. It's, it's like waiting for Prince Charming. But I'm also feeling, you know, some, uh, some a romantic night. Somebody playing something romantic here to try to you know, make amends, make things better. 
What's the message here for Sag? We'll take up the three. Don't kill me. But that one came out like, nope, this is it. And it is. It's time to be adventurous and play. The flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come. And the cooing of turtle doves fills the air. Song of Solomon 2.12. So, I'm definitely picking up soulmate energy here. This could have been a relationship, guys. Because I'm um, looking at it. I'm looking at I'm seeing runner chaser here. And it feels like, you know, whoever, like, the person. So, okay, I'm going to show you guys, right? I'm just, like, breaking it down. So, this is the person right here. That's the person who uh, is trying to apologize because their person has left their beautiful bubble here, okay? But now it's like you need to step outside. And Sagittarius, if this is you, you need to step outside of this bubble and go after what you want if you really believe that you want that, okay? Muster up and find the strength to go and do it. I um, do see that if there is some troubles here, things will get better by the spring. And I, I know that's like, come on, bitch, we still in the summer. Fall is almost, okay, whatever. Fall is almost here, so. It's gonna take, it's gonna take some time, okay? This two and this 12, that's five, breaking down to a change. Changes are happening. Um, within your relationships here. But I do see where um, you just have to go after what you want. I mean, clearly, this person still wants you. This energy still wants you around. See how she's like, he or she, whatever, guys, right? It's crazy how you guys read in this turn to tell love reading, and it's supposed to just be what it is. So I'm assuming maybe your love life came crumbling down. That's your love and light. But um, she still leaves a trail behind and it's up to him, this chaser to go behind and run or chase behind this runner here okay so again you know Sag just um find it within yourself here think of what it is that you deserve and what you are also worthy of I'm hearing you know before you take any shit you know no you set some boundaries and have some limits okay so that you can enjoy life as well Speak words of love. Mm -hmm. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. Wishing on a star. Could be afraid. I'm feeling a definite moon energy. Like, aside from the big ass moon. But just, um, just being afraid to go after what it is that you want. Again, practicing. You need to practice that self-love. And it's, it's a matter of seeing if. It's one thing when you say you deserve something. Like, yeah, I deserve that. But do you feel that? Like, do you feel that you deserve it? You get what I'm saying? Like, do you feel that honestly in your heart that you deserve that? Like, that's where you need to go within and start reprocessing some things here. Do you really deserve that? And if you feel that you do, if you feel you can get over whatever this tower moment was, then you can go and... Look at this, this calmness. We got this hummingbird. And we have these beautiful swans. Just birds, though, in general. So, think, I feel like the worst is over. It's just a matter now, Sag, if you want to go behind and go for what it is that you want. Stop being afraid. Pisces energy I'm picking up, but stop being afraid. Let's keep it moving. Let's get to spread. Six cards to start. Underneath your deck, look at that. Passion, a new passionate start here in a romance. You guys, this is romance for you. But it's a new passionate start here, okay? Look at that. The moon. But you're afraid. You're afraid because it's like you don't know what's going to happen. I'm telling you, whatever that tower moment was, it really shook shit up. Look at, you see how this creepy person, like, is coming out? These shadows is coming out and these folks ain't paying attention. You know, they just trying to reminisce and look at the beauty of the moon. You know, probably got the mask on COVID, trying to enjoy a little bit of social distancing here. But it's this shadow that's just creeping up and creep and like it crept in. And boom, time moment happened. Now you scared as hell to go after this new passionate star. But it's like, I feel like whatever has been done is done. Whatever needed to be said has been said. Like I said, like everybody is probably saying that. I know I'm not the only one who's saying the whole entire world is under judgment. 2020, it was 
This was the vision. Every is judgment. That's the vision, okay? And look at that. Could be done with a Virgo in the past here. But hermit energy here. Something was revealed. Something was seen. You also could have been in your shell here about something, trying to hide something. But I feel, you know, in looking at this image and what I'm picking up is somebody got wise. They seen something and got enlightened here. They, they like, was following their intuition, following, you know, their gut feeling. And it led them to see something here. Because remember, we kept having that eight of wands. And I kept saying something was coming in fast, hot, email, text message, DM, don't matter. Somebody got the message and became very aware. Um, looking at her stance, it's like one foot in and one foot out. So this could be you, Sag. You know, you could have found something out here which caused this tower moment, especially I'm looking at just all the darkness here of this image. And, you know, now it's like you're one foot in and one foot out the door in regards to whether or not you want to have this new passion and start again with this person. Okay. Will of Fortune. But like I said, that tower moment changed things for the better. Like, I feel like Things can only go up from here. Like it can't go, it can't get worse. It can only get better now because I feel lessons were learned. Karmic lessons were learned here. Okay. Yeah. Like what's the indecision? Let's keep going. We're going to see what's that indecision about. Yeah. You're, you're stuck deciding. You're going to be stuck at a stalemate. Like, still, <laughs> like, kind of going into September, still unsure of what to do, how to address this, or whatever. Like, do you take in the apologies, or do you give the apologies, or is they, is they are they enough? There's still that element there. Could be dealing with also a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Um, but, yeah, it's just, I see here where this new passion to start is your fate. OK, this is it's what's best for you. But again, still being unsure that fear of, you know, what came out or, you know, how to move forward from the situation. Yeah. So could have found out that, you know, there was some juggling and given to two in the past. Say that could have been re like revealed in some sort of way that um, kind of got your fate moving. OK. Yeah, somebody knew. And I felt like somebody knew. They always knew. Somebody just followed their intuition. Like I said, with that hermit energy there, somebody followed their gut feeling and seen something and became wise. And I was like, one foot in, one foot out. I feel like, Sag, if that's you, you always knew that there was something up. You knew that there was, that there was somebody else. Like, you knew that there was somebody else. Okay. I just feel like you weren't revealing it all the way. But now, like, you're stuck with this decision here on what do I do? Do I go towards this new passion and start? It's kind of like a forgiving type of thing. Do, like I said, do you forgive? Like, if you're the one giving an apology, like, is my apology enough? Are they going to take my apology? And for you Sagittarius who are being apologized to, is, is it enough? I'm hearing Cisco is love enough to make you stay with me. Is love enough? Is it enough? Lots of stagnant energy going into September dealing with this here, guys. But I see, but I mean, not for nothing to take on this new passion to start will is in, it works in your favor like it does. But it's just a lot of stuck stagnant in energy. I'm also feeling like there may not be like everything may not be out in the open or there may not like every I just don't feel like everything is like out in the open. Yeah, death. You're up in the air. Everything's not over. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here. We also got Cancer Scorpio Pisces again out here with my high priestess energy. But um Yeah, I feel honestly like you this transformation is here. Regardless to whatever, the time moment done came, whatever done happened in the past is, is happened. The transformation process is here. Okay? Yeah, King of Wands, Sagittarius, the you are, or Aries, or Leo, if you're dealing with one of those other signs. But Sagittarius, this is your read. This is you. It's like, you need to know that whatever of the past is over you need to get through your mind and see the transformation happen you need to follow your intuition here when it comes to dealing with this situation yeah i feel like judgment 
Yeah, because the judgment done came out. It's done. Whatever's done is done. It's said and done. I feel like that judgment got you caught up in your head a little bit, too. Mm. It seems like the judgment might have you caught up in your head a little bit, too. Because you know, ideally, that this new start is the way to go. You know that it will transform all the energy. But I feel like this judgment got you a little fucked up. It does. You're heartbroken here. It feels like, I don't know if you're heartbroken or it breaks your heart to see how this transformation had to happen, how it had to come. It, it could break your heart that you didn't follow your intuition in regards to something in the past. And now, you know, you are now stuck in between death and transformation. I mean, death and judgment here. You are now being judged. I feel like you've done a lot of judging and now you are being judged. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's time to look within yourself. Yeah. Somebody could have came in and told you something. Like I said, the apology, that could be an apology. Small apologies, but, you know, to make things right. And this could be coming into you or you could be giving this off to someone else here. Okay. Yeah. Of love. You you want to you want to move forward because you love this person. It's genuine love. Like granted it's it's starting off small because you don't know, you know, with the page of pentacles falling under the two of swords, it's like you don't know exactly how to offer in a situation. Cause it's like you caught. You got caught out red hand. Somebody got caught. And now they stuck between a rock and a hard place. And it's like they knew, but it's like they you they want to come in. And I only say you, Sag, because this Knight of Cups is underneath the King of Wands. I mean, a water sign could want to come in and apologize to you and bring you a love offer here. But none, this is about a new passionate beginning. The King of Wands is holding on to this passionate beginning. But he's looking at whether or not he wants to transform and heal off of a situation that has happened. Masculine type energy. So you could be the woman who's more manly. You could be the man who's more feminine. It doesn't matter. It's just the more masculine one. The one who usually does the chasing. Or who's the chaser. Says three. Yeah, you got to take that leap here, okay? Bring, embark on that, okay? Go towards, the like, make the gesture, okay? Because it will lead to something beautiful and unique here, okay? Um, let's just be, let's see. What's this hermit? Yeah, here we go. Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, so... Could be, uh, this could have been about somebody in the past, you know, that could have came, you know, could have been another Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here, but Queen of Wands, like, my thought, especially with me, the giving of two people, this is a hoe, somebody that, you know, you could have worked with or this person could have worked with, financial matters here, but either way, this person is like a very single type energy. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, but that or definitely yeah, it could have been an earth energy, definitely. Cause we got um, I didn't even realize that these cards fell with that as well. But um, then we have the Knight of Pentacles for the King of Swords. So yeah, I do feel like definitely this is a masculine lot to this King energy here, like almost trying to get to that Emperor status, trying to build and have it all. Everything but we got the Wands, the Cups, and the Swords. Everything but the Pentacle Man is out here. The Pentacle Man is not out here. Yeah, so. That's what happened. Somebody took a leap of faith. Somebody went and did something in the past here. This was revealed. Possibly about a third party that you work with or whatever. This is a very single female. Um, with this nine of pentacles and this knight of pentacles. And this king of swords energy here. I just feel the energy where this... It's like this, this individual will give... They give off. And you know, pentacles and cups are usually the female. Swords and wands are usually the male phallic. But so it's like pinnacle. So this is like a woman, uh, a very open, like loose type of woman. Easy, I would say, because ideally she shows up as this, uh, a hardworking woman, somebody who's usually working, but also 
um, passionate and likes to give passion and carefree and, you know, out here. But, you know, while she's busy working, she always stays in the Eight of Pentacles because every time she's in the Nine of Pentacles, she gently goes off and gives a piece of herself away and puts herself back in the Eight of Pentacles here of constantly working, working, working. And I feel, you know, could be working on, you know, this is a judge. This is, you know, so I'm seeing somebody who officiates a marriage. Could be trying to go in and get something, set something straight. Could be trying to go in to, I don't know, but or making this offer here to this man. This is somebody who's making an offer to a man who should have been honest and truthful, truthful to self. Um, he also could be a man who's cold, doesn't usually say much, you know. Was going in and offer to somebody who wasn't expressing any type of love to him. At this moment, what was coming in at this moment was just um, something that was physical. Like, it was just a physical thing. There was no emotions attached. Like, yeah, I thought about it or whatever, but it is what it is. Like, we also got to know that the King of Swords, he has the knowledge and the tools to do everything that needs to be done. Like, um, take him very serious. What he say ideally is law. Like, he doesn't get attached to shit at all. Like, he doesn't. He can be ice cold. He can cut your ass off. That's why he holds that sword. So it's like, you know, that's what that energy was of the past here. That has been revealed. That's your tower moment, you know. You took a leap of faith towards something like that in the past. And it's been revealed here that you were giving to this type of energy. Tough situation here. So, all right. Sagittarius. Whoever it is, you or the person. Um, I do see where things can work out here. Uh, if you do put in the passion and you extend the loving energy here, you can have the Ten of Pentacles all the way around. You just got to keep moving forward. Don't get caught up in your head. The past has happened. Let fate change, okay? Energy might be stuck a little bit, you know, while there is like a healing process that is happening. You know, there's transformation. But uh, like I said, you, the person that you want to be with, who you're chasing behind, you're coming to them in this energy, okay, to get this. Opposed to the past energy, this Queen of Wands who was coming towards you. Queen of Wands was coming towards you. And you were showing up like this in their life. So, completely different energy, okay? And we can see that you're kind of cutting out the player ways, okay? With the King of Wands looking back at that, at that death card, that's what's transforming here. So, yeah, Sag, it could be you or it could be your person. Take it how it resonates, guys. But, yeah, affirmation. It says friendliness. Whenever I smile, I make someone's day better. What a cool way to buy happiness for free. Today, I remember what an awesome power I hold, and I'll take joy in improving life simply by giving away grins like crazy. Notes. In a pinch, money will also work. So, uh, yeah, Saj, you could be the one who's out here doing the apologizing care. Um, big or small, it doesn't matter. Just give your time and attention here. Stay true to yourself also in this process. I feel that you also need to do a lot of um, self-healing within yourself. That's why that self-love is there, okay? But spontaneity. Do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer to this question is yes. So buckle up, Charlie. There's a pretty good chance your name isn't Charlie, but if it is, wow, right? You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional, and underrated. You're about to learn that yes is a magic word with the power to unlock new dimensions in space, time, and after hours hangouts. Yes will lead you to experience you didn't think possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke singer's mullet. So, say yes to everything. Yes to everything. Take the apology, okay? Like, I'm telling you, it's going to work out. This person is trying if you are the one to receive. If you are watching for a Sag, Sag is trying, you gotta just go with it. And Sag, if it ain't in you to be down with the spontaneity and say if you are the one on the shit list, if that person wants to go climb a mountain and your ass is in no shape, you better say yes and find the shape this weekend. Okay, so let's get your crystals for the month. You guys have jets. Earthy and grounding, this true black mineraloid variety of coal is an ancient fossilized driftwood. Who needs it? Empaths and the witchy types. Where to put it? To clear a physical space or your body of uninvited vibes. Swipe jet over the affected area until toxic energy, spirits, and tensions to peace out. 
which would be your past in this case right now, Sag. When to use it, when asking for guidance from elsewhere, think, seance, guided meditation, hood core tarot session. Jet can take the edge off, off high vibe stones like Maldivite and Serpentine and is a wise old friend to bring as your plus one <clears throat> wherever your triggers are sure to be on the guest list. In other words, this stone is to claim your space. Okay, yeah, I struggled a little at the end, guys. Public school education. And then you have Serpentine, which I think was part of this, right? So that's funny. This takes the edge off of Serpentine. And you also need to have Serpentine on you. Okay, so Serpentine, what it is. Aligned to Kel Greenstone with Reptilian Appearance. Serpentine's activity energy is like a deep exfoliation treatment for the spiritual self. Who needs it? Kundalini yogis. Anyone in need of a fresh start, which you have with that Ace of Wands. Where do you put it? During meditation, hold serpentine in each hand and concentrate on circulating energy from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. When to use it? When it's time to let go of tired beliefs and get stuck energy unstuck. Okay. If serpentine arrives in your life, it's an invitation to rip up all proverbial band-aids and regroup. Hit the sauna, sweat it out, and release all lingering drama. Let the past go. I didn't say this. Awaken your reptilian nature. That's ideally what you're doing. But again, releasing the past, like I said, right? And just moving forward because judgment's here. Was done in, whatever was done in the dark has come to light in August, Sag. That's pretty much the message if you fast forward to the end. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, until we speak again, which will be very soon, you know what to do. Peace out.